Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on this guitar lesson. Today we're going to learn five techniques that will impress anyone, for sure. So let's start with the rumba strum. So this one is actually kind of a fun pattern to play. It's, uh, it's a very, very cool sounding strumming pattern. Um, a lot of flamenco players use this pattern, but uh, it's not as difficult as you would think. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you step by step. Before getting into these lessons, uh, you should download the tab on my website. This will help you follow the music uh, a lot easier and you can see all the fingerings and everything there. So it'll just make things a lot easier. So let's get right into it. So for the rumba strum, the way that we're going to start this pattern is using our thumb. So we're going to go down, up to start. So, so only using the thumb there. One, two. And then after that we have this. So one, two, three with the hand. One, two, three with the hand. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then for the next part. So one, two, three, four. Up with the thumb. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, up with the thumb. So. And then after that, we have the slap, which, which I just added there. So. So one, two, three, four, five with the slap. Thumb down, thumb up, hand down, thumb up, slap. For the next part. So this part is going to be up with the hand and then down with the hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So slow, we have this. One more thumb up at the end there, so. So, slow one more time. So that's the pattern right there. All right, so now let's hear how it sounds up to speed. And in the tab, I have four chords written out. So A minor, G, F, and then E, and we're going to use this rumba pattern for all these chords. So let's hear how that sounds. For the technique number two, we have the tremolo. So this is a very classical oriented technique, but it is very impressive. It is used in various different styles, such as classical and flamenco, and sometimes used as just uh, a cool technique to add some flavor. So let's take a look at how that works. So here's how it sounds. So the way that you want to play this pattern is you start with a bass note and then there's A, M, I, so three notes being played on the same string. So basically thumb is first and then one, two, three on the high string. So this is the bass note and then this is the high note. Repeating that melody note three times uh, every time you hit the bass note. And what 
I'm doing there is I'm hitting different bass notes. So now with the thumb, we're going to start with the E string, go to the D string, G, B, G, D, and then E, all while we're doing the three note tremolo there. So A, M, I is going on. Every time we hit a bass note, we do the A, M, I, A, M, I. So that's how you do the tremolo pattern and to learn the little section that I um, uh, just played earlier, you can check that out on the tab. All right, let's move on to the next technique. Okay, so for the next technique, this one is pretty simple. This one is just a bossa nova pattern, but it can sound pretty impressive if you know some pretty cool jazz chords and you have a cool rhythm going on there. So let's take a look at how that sounds. There's the bossa nova technique. So this one is going to be a lot easier with the tab. I'm going to try to explain it as much as I can. So what we start with is the full chord. So we have the thumb, index, middle, and A finger on the A, D, G, B string. So we play that first, and then we do a chord hit with only the index, middle, and A. And then we have a bass note after that, so we have the thumb on the seventh fret. So, so what we have so far is we have the chord, another chord without the thumb, and then seventh fret on the bass note separately. So then after that, after you play the seventh note, the seventh fret with your thumb, we're going to do a chord shot right away. So slow, this would be. And then after that, we have another chord shot, so... With no bass note there, so... So what we have here is... second part we have bass note with the thumb, two chord shots, bass note and the chord, and two chord shots. The second part. So there's the bossa nova pattern here. And there you have it, there's the bossa nova pattern. Now the next pattern that I find very, very useful is a finger picking pattern. And this one is fairly easy, but it can sound impressive if you know how to play it and if you can incorporate it into some pretty interesting music. So let's hear how that sounds. So for this pattern, this is fairly simple. So what we have going on here is just an arpeggiated pattern. So we have the thumb first, and then index on the G. So thumb on the E, index on the G. And then what we 
have here is that's for the second two notes there. So thumb on the E, index on the G, thumb on the D string, middle on the B string. So this is a really good finger picking pattern on its own right here. sounds pretty cool. So let's look at the next part of this. So we have thumb on the low E, index on the G, thumb on the D, middle on the B, and then thumb on the A string, index on the G, thumb on the D, middle on the B. So the only difference is that now we're starting with the A string for the second part of it. So we have E, G, D, B, A, G, pattern for the E chord. Now let's take a look at the finger picking pattern for the C chord. So this one we start with the A string. So thumb on the A string, index on the G, thumb on the D, middle on the B string. So and then for the second part we have we have to move the third finger on the left hand up to the E um, the E string and then start with the E string. So E string, 3rd fret, and then index on the G, thumb on the D, middle on the B. So now what we're doing is alternating. So we're starting with the chord on the A string, so the root note of the chord, and then we're doing the 5th of the chord while we're doing that pattern. So. Pattern, and then you can do that same pattern on this D sus chord and then back to the E minor there. So there you have it, there's the finger picking pattern. Let's move on to the final guitar technique and this one is probably one of the most impressive ones out of this list. This is artificial harmonics. Now I've taken a couple examples here to uh, practice on. So we're going to start off with this B altered chord. So this is how it would sound here. So those are artificial harmonics. So what's going on there is I'm plucking the string an octave higher and I'm just gently pressing on that string an octave higher of what the note would be. So if the note is on the seventh fret, then I would be pressing my finger on the 19th fret, and then with my thumb behind my finger, I'm plucking the harmonic. And then for this chord, I have seven on the high E, eight on the B, eight on the G, and then seven on the D string. So now I'm doing octaves for each of those notes. And then in between, so those are three harmonics, and then I'm adding a normal note with my ring finger. So then you're adding some different notes in there that aren't harmonics, they're just part of the chord. So what we have here is a harmonic on the 19th fret, another one on the 20th, on the B string, another one on the 20th on the G string, and then plucking the high E string without a harmonic, and then a harmonic on the 19th fret of the D string, plucking the B string naturally, and then another harmonic with the open string this time, so the open string this time on the 19th fret, and then plucking the string normally on the G string, and then another harmonic on the 19th fret of the E string and then plucking the string again. So what we have is this sound here. So there you have it. There is a harmonic technique and in the 
tabs, I've tabbed out the pattern that I've showed you here. So.